walk into a home, you're thinking about buying, and then you find out that the owners are dealing with bugs, or maybe the furnace is 30 years old, or the foundation is cracked. Here's what you do. You turn around and walk out, right? Well, maybe not. Here to explain why those things might not be deal breakers, we want to welcome Julie and Daniel from DeRoche Realty Group and Coldwell Banker Burnett. Hi, you guys. Hello. Nice to have you here. Okay, I want to get an update on the house that you're tearing down and rebuilding, but we'll get that in just a couple of minutes. But we're going to talk about some of these things that you walk in and you're like, this is terrible. And I think water stains and mold, Julie, are so terrifying to people that they immediately hear like water issues, move on to the next house. Why might you be missing out on something great? Yeah, and people really freak out when they see it. Yeah. But um, usually you can figure out where the water's coming from. Oh. So if you figure out where the water's coming from and take care of the issue, and there shouldn't be any more issues after that. So it, the big the big thing is finding out is it bad grading on the outside? Does the house not have gutters? Why is water getting into the house? And can it be taken care of? And if it can, you, should, you shouldn't pass on the house if you love the house. Okay, so what about the mold issue? Because mold gets so scary. People think about health concerns. They think this is particularly when it comes to stucco. They're like, this is going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix. It does, and it can with stucco. I mean, it, but it can be remediated. You can have the stucco taken off of the house and the windows reflashed and it resided. It's a lot. It's expensive, but those sellers are going to have to disclose that to any buyer that comes along. Okay. So you should negotiate with the sellers to get it taken care of or get a price reduction to take care of it yourself. So instead of immediately thinking we got to get out, think how much money can I get out of this house right. because of this problem? And what's it worth in the end? How yeah. much did you spend for it? What did it cost to fix it? And what's it worth in the end? If it still makes sense, don't run away. Just check into it and have proper people look at it and it might be a great deal Because like you guys always say, if you love <laughs> the location, you can't change that. The yeah. mold and the water stains you can work with. Okay, yeah. let's talk about cigarette smoke and pet smell. Smell is such a big thing. This is why they talk about, you know, baking cookies before your open house so that your house smells amazing. So what happens to people, Danielle, when they walk into a house and it smells bad? I mean, they want to leave. Absolutely. People will just go off and I'm one of them. I'm, I, I am. I'm allergic to cigarette smoke and cats. I've been in houses on listing appointments where I literally need a whole box of Kleenex while I'm sitting there trying to list their house. So I get it. Um, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but I bet you it's pretty high how many people walk into a house and either see a pet, smell a pet, see pet food, sell, smell cigarette smoke and run away. Um, it, it's so easy to fix though. If it's pets, usually it's just replacing the carpet and having the ductwork sanitized. It's so easy. Which and washing, a lot of times you want to replace the carpet. Yeah. You don't want to live on someone else's old carpet. Either way. So you, if you have the pet thing, you can probably get a little bit of a better deal and you were going to replace the carpet anyway. Yeah. What about cigarette smoke though? Because I feel like that gets into the walls. It does. So with cigarette smoke, yeah, pet dander doesn't, you know, you can wash the walls, but yeah. cigarette smoke, stuff like that. Yeah. That's a little more intense, but truly it's replace the curtains, wash the walls, duct, or sanitize the ductwork. And same thing, replace the carpet. I just sold one to a young lady and she was so terrified. But the house was such a beautiful house and it was priced well below what it should have been because of all the people wow. that were terrified of that stuff. She had all the stuff done. Uh, you bring in an ozonator and you walk in, it's been a month since she bought it and did all this work, nothing. You would no, never know. Never know. Okay, never. that's incredible. Yeah. Now, foundation issues, Daniel, are another thing that people get really scared about because that just feels so overwhelming and also, frankly, not fun money to spend <laughs> no, to fix something sexy. like that. Not at all. So, okay, what are some things that we should think about with foundation issues and why might we want to look past it when it comes to buying the actual house? Well, don't get me wrong. There's things that if it's a bad foundation, like if it's sunk, it can really be a big problem. And sometimes it's as bad as lifting the house up and putting a whole new basement under it, which Wowzers. believe it or not, it happens more than you can imagine. Yeah. But uh, we did one in Edina not that long ago where the wall was collapsing in. So it had a good size crack, probably about a three quarter of an inch crack collapsing in. And they come in and they put in these steel beams that are bolted to the top and poured into the bottom and they put bolts, they push it back out. And honestly, it's probably the strongest part of the house now. Gosh. You can negotiate, depending on how the house is priced and everything, you can negotiate substantially on that and the cost to fix it was nowhere near as much as some people would honestly think and then you're right it's not sexy it's not fun but at the end you can end up financially better off with still a great home so again if it's a great location don't be afraid of it go for research it. it check it mm -hmm. get estimates Bugs are another thing, Julie. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I had a spider in my bathtub just yesterday, and it was not pleasant. No. <laughs> but people have bugs, and or you see something gross, or you see mouse droppings, and you were like, I am out of here. Yeah. You, you think you can get that fixed? You can, and the mice thing is a big one. I have a lot of people walk in, and they'll even they'll see a mouse trap. They won't see the mice, yeah. but they'll see a mouse trap. 
And a lot of sellers, I'll sit down with them and I'll say, do you, I'll see the mouse traps in the basement. And I'll say, do you have, oh, we got rid of that issue two years ago. Uh, well, you may want to get rid of your mice traps. <laughs> but um, a, an exterminator, a good exterminator can come in, figure out where the mice are coming in, plug the holes, and they'll, they'll usually warrant it for three or four months. They'll come back, make sure that no new mice have come in, the, the issue's taken care of. It's a really simple fix, and most houses have mice. Yeah, it just freaks buyers out. Yeah, it totally does. Now, old mechanicals is another thing that you think you can negotiate. This furnace is 30 years old. I want X amount of dollars off the price of the house because I'm going to have to deal with that. Yeah, and as a seller, I tell people over the buyers over exaggerate what it's going to cost to replace all those yeah. things. So we tell sellers when they're getting their house ready, get all those things tuned and serviced and fixed show documentation that all of the mechanicals in the house have been tuned and serviced and they're okay, they're just old. And then you can also offer a warranty to the buyers. So that's a third party warranty that if the buyers move in and something goes wrong with it, the warranty company for a small deductible will usually come out and fix it or replace it. So. Now you guys of course bought this house that all of these things, there were some deal breakers. This was not gonna be worth actually renovating and redoing. So you had it mowed down and here is the progress. Daniel, how's it going on the rebuild? Good, I was over there today and it's uh, it's really going great. The grading is happening. Uh, it's coming along, it's exciting. They'll be framing, I think, this, not this week, but I bet you next week they'll start framing the house up. Oh my gosh, and so, so then fast. we'll really get to start to see how this is gonna turn out. Unbelievable, but it's warm, so they can do it. I can't believe this weather. It's they are good to go. Thanks a lot, you guys, good advice. We have a link to the DeRoche Realty Group with Coldwell Banker Burnett on our website. And listen, they'd be happy to talk with you if you're interested in buying, selling, or building a home. And big thanks to the DeRoche Realty Group for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. See you guys soon. Thank thanks. you. All right, we're gonna